Hello everybody, this is Mateo, and as promised, we are starting off this video pecking Mumbo in the face, and by that I mean becoming Mumbo. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk to him, give him the Globo. As per usual, it's been a long time since we've become Mumbo. Actually, not really all too much. We did actually become Mumbo in Grunty's Industries. We have not yet used the transformation in Grunty's Industries as the thing, that's what I'm thinking of. It's been a very long time since we used Wumba, aside from last video. Um, before that, it would, it had been a very long time. God, just keep on needing to pause for those burps, man. Just, Jesus. Alright, so, oh wait. There was a reason that we blew a hole in the side of Mumbo's wall. And the reason was actually this. Um, this is a shortcut over to the icy side. Because, believe it or not, even though Mumbo's living on the lava side, everything that Mumbo needs to do is on the ice side, which is kind of really weird. Also, Mumbo's going to transform into the snowball, yay! Okay, well we better leave. Mumbo would rather not be in big heap trouble. Alright, so we have two things we need to do as Mumbo. Both of them are in really weird, just like anti-gravity pillar type things, but alas, there's still things to do. Uh, the matter is getting to them. As you can imagine, it's kind of difficult to get up to anti-gravity pillar things. Hopefully he can walk up ju this just fine. Yes, he can. Because the first one is actually nowhere near here. I am completely incorrect in thinking so. Darn it. Starting off on a high note. It's actually over here on this side. Oh, he's trapped in the ice cube. He looks so sad and he's still blinking and stuff. Let's go ahead and free him. And just kill him! Why not? Okay, but... We can head on over here and use the first of two Mumbo Pads. And then I think we have to warp over to the other one because it's closer to the, uh... Well, shoot. Oh yeah, fallproof effects Mumbo too, that's fantastic. But it's closer to the, uh, Yeti area, I do believe. So we're going to warp over there eventually. As soon as we get this one out of the way. Let's go ahead and get a better camera angle this time around. I think there are a bit of ice physics to this, which is annoying. Oh yeah, there totally are. Mumbo was sliding as he was shocking there. He doesn't normally do that. Okay, but we are going to use life force on the alien dad. Alright, so, well, apparently he's not dead anymore. Yep, he's standing and blinking. Okay, it hurt a lot. I wonder if he realized that he was dead. Well, he, he does now, since we told him. He did say, oh wait, no, I'm dead, so I guess he did realize it. Oh. Kill him again, Mumbo, that's what you should do. His special powers are low. Okay. Crash in the lagoon, that was uh, Jolly Roger Lagoon. So the kids have been gone for a while now. And he has a wondrous gift for us. Not tacky alien merchandise. Uh, we got a souvenir, that's great. Until they detect alien signal, alright. So... Basically, now it's going to just say, like... Oh hey, they're turning off their invisibility or whatever. And that one looks dead. And that one's cold. Alright then. So... This now is a Banjo and Kazooie problem. And currently, as you can probably tell, we are not Banjo Kazooie right now. So we're going to leave them for a moment. We're just great friends, leaving the kids to die even after they deactivated their cloaking device to keep them away from danger. Now we're just throwing them right into danger's way again. And actually, if I can. Where is that? Oh, it's right over there, actually. We don't need to warp. Alright, this works. Yeah, we need to head over to that other anti-gravity platform, because that's where the other Mumbo pad is. Yeah, Mumbo can totally jump these. Good. They designed it so it would work. Fantastic. I love it when that happens. Alright. So now we can just head over this way. Hopefully we don't fall this time. Kind of weird how the Mumbo pads were raised off of the ground when they were frozen. But you know, whatever. Hope this works. Go ahead and use Life Force on Saberman, which most of you probably already know this because of other Let's Players covering it, but I suppose I should mention it as well. Saberman is actually another Rareware character 
who starred in the uh, Pitfall games, I do believe. And well, he's back for a cameo in Banjo-Tooie, which is pretty interesting. He's been frozen in there since 1984, which I'm pretty sure was the last Super Pitfall game that had come out since then. Venturing is my game, or at least was my game. What Cable Man doing in the ice block? <laughs> nice, Saber Wolf is the villain from those games, I do believe. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this again is a Banjo and Kazooie problem. So we're going to leave him to freeze for a moment since we're still Mumbo. I mean, I could electrocute you, but that doesn't seem to be working a whole lot. So you're just gonna stay there and freeze for a moment. Hopefully you don't become an ice cube again. That would be kind of really bad. So yeah, we are done with Mumbo at this point. He didn't actually get anything, but he opened up some stuff for us to get stuff. If that makes sense. So let's just run on back to Wumba's hut and uh, transform back into the barren bird and bring them over here so we can do stuff. Yay, stuff. So descriptive, so intelligent with my word choices. Alright, so let's bring them on over. And Banjo and Kazooie actually can use this warp as well. So, last video, instead of spending like four minutes getting over to Mumbo's skull, I could have just head over, head on over to Wumba's wigwam and blast my way through the other way. But I completely forgot that I, that actually existed until I actually walked in here, and I was like, oh yeah, this is a thing. Also, we're still nearly dead. I was hoping that Mumbo would refill our health, but apparently not. He is not that kind. He's not Jam Jars, that's for sure. Alright, so... Is the empty honeycomb... or the... no, it is not. Great. Wasted that, actually. Okay. So there's a matter of... He's right here, might as well. I think we could build drill this. Indeed. Okay. Beak to mouth resuscitation. Uh, not quite. Uh, yeah. This one's actually dead, so we need to go get Mumbo again and use this magic pad right directly on above us again. Uh, so I'm going to leave that for the time being. Uh, just because I don't want to go back immediately. We still have other Banjo and Kazooie things to do in the meantime. So for now, I'm going to head over and build drill this other one because he too is stuck under a giant thing of ice, which seems like it would be really uncomfortable. So let's go ahead and free him, is the basic idea. However, of course, this one can't be that simple as well. We're going to need to do something with this guy too, I do believe. Oh no. He, he's actually just gonna go and freeze in the water. Good for him. I thought we were going to need to bring Banjo over here and pick him up with the, uh, what you call it, his backpack and just, like, carry him over to the alien dad, but no, this alien's actually capable. A, vi a video, a character in this video game is actually capable of doing something on their own. Who would have thought it was ever possible? Look at him. Look at him. There's a reason that this one has the yellow Jinjo doll as opposed to the other two. Good for him. He is going places in this world. Alright. So that aside, um, the third one's in a really high up place and we need just Kazooie to get to him no matter what. So I'm just going to leave him be for now. So basically, one that you just save automatically, one that you need Mumbo for, one that you need Kazooie for. And then there's this guy, who wanted to be warmed up, so let's go ahead and do the best plan, and shoot fire eggs at his face. It's gonna take a couple, three in fact, and then he's all warmed up, he's got his complexion back, but then there's one last thing. Glad to help an old hero, so they do recognize him, which is pretty interesting. Help him out one more time, of course, why not? Yep, so we have a thing for Banjo to do, a thing for Kazooie to do, and a thing for Mumbo to do. So we're just getting the whole gang over here. Now if only we could get Wumba out of her chair to actually do something as well, but alas, no. But everybody's got something to do, and we're going to take them on one by one. First off, I think I'm going to do the banjo thing, because it's right over where the split-up pads are. So, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, split up. 
get on over to this guy, and then we're gonna take him on back to his tent, which you might actually remember. I pointed it out a while ago that it was a pretty cool looking tent. It's back on the lava side, so we're going to warp on over there. Luckily it's really close to the entrance, so we can use that warp right there. So this is the easiest of the three to do, which is why I'm doing it right now. So let's... oh, wrong move. Go ahead and pick up a, a full human inside of our backpack. You know, whatever. Granted, he's a rather small human, about the size of this bear. Actually, bears are pretty big. Um, if anything, Kazooie's a really big bird when you compare sizes over here. Although then again, there's Humba Wumba. She's pretty big. So yeah, Saberman is a very small man. Uh, Kazooie's a rather large bird, and Banjo's a very small bear. And that's what we have going on here. Okay, uh, lower side, that's near where the entrance is. And there's also still the matter of that Cheeto page in the Icicle Grotto, which I looked it up, and apparently there is a hole somewhere in that Icicle Grotto. I'm just dumb and haven't found it, is the moral of this story. Again, oh, wait a minute. I can totally get in this backpack with Saberman. Hey, Saberman, how you doing? It's not cramped in here or anything, is it? Hope you're not claustrophobic. Okay, let's go ahead and throw him out now. I think I've tortured him enough with my hijinks. It's just as he left it all those years ago. That's very good. Probably worthless, wow. Yeah, luckily none of the hotheads have burned it down. A fine golden jigsaw piece. That is very nice to me. Oh, you're gonna make me walk around your whole freaking tent? I wish they'd burned it down. Alright, with that we got 69. Jeez, aw yeah. Okay, uh, that aside, let's go ahead and head back now, and you know what? Since we're just Banjo, I'm going to explore this Icicle Grotto one last time, because this is really bugging me. Like, I don't think you guys understand how much this is bugging me right now. So I'm going to cut until I find it or something, so I'll see you all then. Ah, you're yellow this time. Nice try, sir. So yeah, see you all in a moment. Maybe. Oh my god, I can climb up this thing. Oh my god, here we go. Alright. I looked at that once earlier and I was like, huh, that's a... Camera? Uh, camera? Camera, you mind coming with me, maybe? Nope. Okay, that's that's cool, I guess. There you go, jeez. You were really struggling over there. Okay, but yeah, I looked at that once and I was like, huh, that's a really weird looking icicle, but I never thought to climb up it, jeez. Well, there we go, the case of the Cheeto page finally solved, and my god, this camera. This camera right now. Also, I totally could have gotten a cheat. Didn't even realize how many Cheeto pages I actually had. Maybe we'll do that at the end of this episode or something, because we're nearing the end of this world. Now it's just a matter of those two Jiggies that I'm... Actually, no, just that one Jiggy. Just gotta help out the alien family, and that's it. We only have two kids left. So yeah, we're going to... The plan is to help them out, and then... You know what, I'm actually going to die so I can get back to the split-up pads. But yeah, just a matter of helping out those two kids at this point. Nice. Okay, so with that, we are going to... Transform into Kazooie, first of all. If it would let me, thank you. And... I think we're gonna head back to the Icicle Grotto. As a way to get to a higher up point, because the other entrance to this area... The exit, rather, past this Icicle Bridge is, will lead to a higher point. It's up this way. Just gotta get my bearings. So let's go ahead and head on up this way. Try not to fall again. I've already fallen once because of this area, and it was bad. Come on, you. Yes! Totally did it. And then there's that guy, and he just, like, knocks me off. That would have been awful. Okay. Go on through. And gotta find exactly where that alien baby is. But yeah, this is one of the highest points in this side of the level. I think it's actually right there, so let's go ahead and glide over to it. Uh, please? Yes, that is indeed where he is. Nice. Now, the thing with this alien baby is that he is very cold. So we gotta warm him up. Um, yep, little alien baby. Okay. Let's 
yeah, he's very cold. And, well, he's not an egg, so I guess Banjo was still correct in that. Kazooie still didn't have to, like, hatch another egg. But she does indeed have to use the hatch move. You might think, oh, shoot him with fire eggs again. Nope, hatch him. Totally makes sense. Okay, and then he's just gonna teleport, you know, whatever. Okay, so that's two of them down. That just leaves the one that Mumbo has to take care of. So let's go ahead and glide back over to Banjo, team up with him again, head over to Mumbo's hut, uh, transform into Mumbo, get back to that life force pad, use it, uh, save that baby, get the Jiggy. That is the full plan, the, the uh, what was that, seven point plan? Five? I wasn't counting. Ah oh, well. It's, it's, it has multiple parts, we have the full plan, it's gonna go by rather quickly, and then we will have 100%ed, hun uh, fr I almost said freeze easy peaks, uh, hail fire peaks. So, it's very nice, it's been a while since we actually 100%ed a world, especially in one go. Although this was in two sittings, I mean, we didn't have to backtrack or anything, which is very nice. Okay, no, we don't sit in Mumbo's chair. We talk to him. Only Mumbo sits in Mumbo's chair. Yes, we need your help again. So go ahead, head on over. And through the door. But yeah, we've 100%ed Hailfire Peaks at this point, which is very nice. We only have one more Jiggy in uh, Terry Dactyl Land, one more in Jolly Roger Lagoon, and then a couple Jinjos in a full world, and we'll be done. We're getting there, guys. We're getting close here. It's pretty nice. After spending, like, half a year on this project and only uploading 20 videos of it, we're nearing the end. Well, 20... Oh, we're actually nearing 30 at this point, but still. Just kind of ridiculous how long this project's been lasting. Should have ended, like, around October, and here we are nearing January, if not already in January. Like I said, it's December 27th. I don't really know when this is going to be uploading. There's a chance this might actually upload on my birthday, which would be kind of funny. Which is January 2nd. It's either going to be this or the next video, I think. We'll see. Doesn't really matter either way, it's just a day, honestly. Yay, not all Earthlings are brain dead. So he just... he's alive now, he walks on over. And, well, all the children are saved and the UFO can pick them all up, finally. Uh, beam them up, Scotty. Hopefully there's an alien in there named Scotty. Um, have you kids seen my laser anywhere? It's on the ship, probably. Oh wow, he's going to kill us after we helped him, that's just great. So yeah, that one has a Jinjo doll, that one has a rattle, and I think the final one has a laser gun. So I mean, you could have your kid kill all of us if you really wanted to, but I guess not. Instead, he's going to spare us, because he does realize we did save his kids. And in fact, he's going to drop off a Jiggy, so it turns out that the alien wasn't so bad after all. And you know what? We're gonna go ahead and have Mumbo stick his head in the snow. And also, we're gonna give him the honor of picking up the 70th Jiggy. So with that, we could actually go and beat the game. I know I said when we had 55, I want to say the number was, that we could go beat the game, and that actually only opens up the first half of the final level. You need up to 70 to unlock the second half of the final level, which will actually bring you to the final boss. So, yeah, I was wrong earlier, but now we can go beat the game if we wanted to. But we still have things to do, we still have people to help. A uh, full world to explore, even. So, we have to go take care of that first and foremost. Okay, but yeah, let's just go check out those totals real quick. Ah, look at that completion! So good, and only an hour and 44 minutes. We we are four jiggies away from completing Grunty's Industries, and we've almost hit that time. We're like a minute off. Not even, like... 20 seconds. No, 10 seconds. I can math, guys, I swear. Yeah, only 10 seconds more time than currently Grunty's Industries, and we have s still have a lot to do in Grunty's Industries. And then there's one more Jiggy in Pterodactyl Land, and one more in Jolly Rogers Lagoon. Both of these, we need to do something in the final world, or the eighth world, rather. And then that'll uh, set up the things that we need to do for those two. And we can get those Jiggies really easily at that point. Um, there's one more thing after we do... 
um, the thing that we need to do in the eighth world. Uh, we're going to need to come back here because if you remember, there's that super hot water uh, here that we can give to the pigs I mentioned. But right now it's too hot for them. And so we need to do something in the eighth world to cool it down. And then we can come back over here, give the pigs the water and get that jiggy. And then we'll also get water from the eighth world and give it to the dinosaur and pterodactyl land and that'll be done. So with that, we have completed Hailfire Peaks. Entirely. We only have to stop by here for like a minute real quickly. And then that'll be it. So... One last thing to do real quickly at the end of this video is to go to Cheeto, get our new cheat, check out what it is. And, yeah. I could go back to Granny's Industries if I wanted to and get three Jiggies now, but I think I'm still gonna hold off on that because I still really dislike Granny's Industries. And we're going to need to backtrack there anyways once we get the final move. So might as well wait a little bit more till we get that move, right? There's the door I was looking for. So yeah, I'm gonna wait till we get the final move in the final level. Because we need that move in order to get one of the Jiggies in there. And then we'll do one final swoop through Grunty's Industries is the plan. And also, it is Grunty's Industries after all. It kind of makes sense. Uh, to finish up her factory type level as the final level uh, before we fight her, you know? It sets up the mood a lot better than what the final world actually is, or the final collectible type world, I guess. So let's go ahead into the witch's mouth, go to Cheeto, get that cheat and activate it and stuff. So, no, don't roll into him. Don't smash Kazooie into him either. That's a terrible plan. So yeah, we have five Cheeto pages. We can get a new cheat. And this time the cheat is... I'm pretty sure it's Honeyback. Yeah. So Honeyback will make it so that you will refill honeycombs every like five seconds or something like that. It's basically like a regeneration. Uh, regen spell if you're a Final Fantasy fan or something like that. Uh, I don't think I don't think you have to be standing around either. You could it'll activate while you're walking, so it's pretty overpowered. Um, I'm going to activate it just for the sake of the completeness of it all, but I don't think I'm actually going to be using it because it just seems like it's way too overpowered. Like I'm fine with fallproof because it just saves me from like three points of damage unless we're in pterodactyl land. And it just makes exploring a lot easier. But Honeyback takes away all the difficulty in the bosses, mainly. It makes them a joke, because, like, you get low on health, and then you'll just be like, oh, I'll just dodge their attacks for, like, ten seconds and then be at full health again. So, yeah, Honeyback is not a thing that I'm going to be using at all in this game. That and what if I want to die in order to warp to somewhere else? I did that a couple times this part in the last two parts. So I want to leave that option open. That really isn't an option with Honeyback. So let's just go ahead and quickly activate it so we can say that we did. And then we'll never speak of this day ever again. Or we totally could, whatever. It doesn't really matter. I'm speaking nonsense at this point. I'm running out of things to talk about, which is a good thing that we're ending this episode if that's the case. So let's head right on up in here. It's been a very long time since we've activated a cheat. I'm saying that a lot because it's been a... See, the, the thing is, it, it has been a really long time since we've done anything in this game. Because it's been two months since I last played it. So everything's gonna be a really long time since we last did it. Jeez. Okay. Honey... Back. Oh man, I thought I hit the R for a second over there. And... Just a little bit more. There we go. Automatically replenish your energy over time. So yeah, we could use that if we wanted to, but I really don't want to. Oh, I do have homing eggs on, alright. So apparently there's up to 12 cheats here, but I couldn't for the life of you tell you what they all are. But whatever. That's that. So with that, um, we're going to call it a video, and in the next one we will start the 8th world, that bubble that completely threw me for a loop and completely ruined the opener explosion game. We're gonna go give that bubble a piece of our mind. So next time we'll do that. I will see you all then. Goodbye!